two hours and it doesn't seem like it's been that long. It's like 20 minutes. It uh, is beautiful riding along the North Sea and also seeing some beautiful Scottish countryside and some sheep and some villages. It's just beautiful. We will shortly be arriving at Dundee. Esplanade at the beach in Aberdeen. It's beautiful. And we're going to take a walk toward the old town on the Esplanade. Okay, Mindy and I were worried about um, having cold, rainy weather the whole time we were here. And even the Scots are telling us that this is unusually warm and we're really loving it. Yep. Mm -hmm. There's Mindy. She's busy. Okay, look. Texting for children. Everton, we're doing a lot of walking. Tomorrow we're going to rent a car because we're going out of the city. But I think we've averaged probably eight or nine miles a day. One day, I'd say we're getting close to ten. Close to ten. Dan's just off the, the 
the beach from disappearing on us. Okay. Same with the, the rocks that are down there to help protect the, uh, the people who go into the sea as well. Okay. Um, as you'll see a bit further up, if you go all the way, but yeah, the, the, the beach does get a wee bit more swept. That's very interesting. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, you're very welcome. Thanks. Have a nice day. Thank you. You too. really cool around here. So, so they play like a league in Scotland, okay. quite a big league, um, and then the Europa Conference League. So they've just played the final there, and uh, so they'll play against like teams from Italy, France. Promotion. Oh, that's what I said last time. Yeah. plates. Oh. So we have rented a car for the day. Neither one of us have ever driven in an English country and so this is a new experience for both of us and I need to navigate because I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna take the second exit off the roundabout so that oh what's that person doing I wonder if there's two lanes in the roundabout. must be okay so what do I do here keep going keep going oh, that way that direction get over there. yeah this is you okay. yeah two lanes two yeah we're in this little red car we've named pepper and Thankfully, Pepper is small. Tiny, yeah. This is a cute little neighborhood. It is charming. And we've made it outside of the, we hope, the busy I think that was the hard part. The roundabouts. Mindy trusts her navigator through that one roundabout. She wasn't sure. I didn't know what was happening. We are getting used to driving on the opposite side, and it's just super interesting. We've already crossed it's over only once. It's five minutes, five. and we're fine. Yes. It's fine. We are fine. <clears throat> on our way to Balmoral Castle. Yeah. Why is there an arrow right that's there? That's what's freaking me out. I guess it's saying you could pass. It's just how it's going to be today. We're just slow, and we're going to be slow we're because... We're the countryside. Yeah. Look how pretty this is. I am trying... Those coos are getting hairier. Coos. Those are more highlighting. <gasps> Those are the coos? The hairy I don't coos. know if that's full out, because the, the real ones have like this long hair on their face. I want to see one of those. This is a cute little village. We are, we are driving in Aberdeenshire. It's, like it, it's 60 miles per hour here. 50. And Mindy's okay, going myself. almost 50. We were at one point going 30. 30 when we were getting used to driving. But I tell you what, these roads, 60 miles an hour on these windy, tiny roads, they, that is scary. If I were on the right side, it would, it would yes, be okay. It would be okay. I would be zipping uh, around like Yes, 
Yes. But it'll be a ride. Yes. But since I don't know how to drive over here. Oh, this is beautiful countryside. We made it to Balmoral Castle and we are so excited. It's beautiful here. Well, we're not at the castle yet, but the grounds and it's beautiful. So we took a chance of not ordering our tickets ahead of time and it's just not crowded today. So it was no problem for us to get tickets. And we are excited to see the Balmoral grounds and just to take our time here. This is much bigger and better than what I realized. We're in the Cairngorms. Cairngorm. Cairngorms. I'm gonna time machine. Cairngorm National Park. Here we are, in front of the castle. It's pretty significant that this is the year that Queen Elizabeth passed away and we're getting a chance to see this. It's beautiful out here. I just even love the outdoors. to go into the um, the ballroom where they had pictures and history and the grounds are beautiful the weather is beautiful we've had a really good time stopped at this little town called Ballater after Balmoral and this is beautiful. The water this way and I'm gonna spin really quickly. Water this way. 
and then the town is really cool too. Little shops and lunch and they have walking trails. So we're gonna do some walking trails. Mindy found her bookstore. This is the Ballater train station, and it is no longer a train station. It's a really cute little area, but it's more significant because back in the day when Queen Victoria and the royals would go to Balmoral Castle, this was the train station they had to get off at. Did you say these Highland Games? These is Ballater Highland Games. Start the, the Royals start the ceremonies here at Ballater, and it's in this field over here, all in this field. I would love to watch it. We'll just have to find that on YouTube. Yes. This, this is the River Dee. It goes through Balmoral, and so if you see the Queen like splashing around or something, or the Prince fishing, it would be in this river. It, it runs through Balmoral and uh, goes all the way to Aberdeen, I read. Aberdeen. Hey, buddy. <laughs> There's hey, a big buddy. black dog up here who frightened Mindy. She thought it was a bear for a minute because she saw him with the sun behind him. This is so beautiful.
bandwidth? Oh, it sure is. Yeah. Yes. Oh, goodbye. Oh, good. I, I stop here, right? Yes. It is Friday, our second day in Aberdeen, our last day in Aberdeen, and we are, we did fine in the car, and we are on our way to drop it off at the rental place and take the train to Inverness. We got the car back. We said goodbye to Pepper and got dropped off at the train station, which is also a mall, and it's my happy place. It's TJ Maxx. But here it's called TK Maxx. And we are insane. going so to shop excited. a little bit before our train takes I off. I get excited about TJ Maxx and other towns. We have all the wrong clothes. So because we dressed for cold and wet this and morning I cut it's my jeans. hot. We cut the jeans. And I wore the same clothes over and over because I only have long sleeves and sweaters. And I had to buy a new shirt yesterday. Which is very cute. Short sleeves. Yeah. We're in the train station at Aberdeen, and Mindy found a few cute blue shirts at TK Maxx, and I got a cute little gray shirt at Zara. That's the second time I've had to buy something at Zara in a foreign city. One time it was very cold in Paris, and I didn't expect that, so I went to Zara and got a few uh, shirts, and our train is here, so we are going to make it on down to the train. Thankful it's not a stick shift because that would be just extra. 